We're here with Tiffany Johnson, senior guard, Franklin Pierce women's basketball team on Friday. Tiff was named the Northeast 10 Conference Defensive Player of the Year. So first off, Tiffany, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you're now part of a pretty esteemed line <laughs> of award winners for Franklin Pierce. Yeah. Seven straight years there's been a major award given. Mm -hmm. um, we could go through the entire process, <laughs> but I, I'll save you a little bit of time. But to be a part of that company, how, how special is that? Um, it's really special, you know, like the players that have won this award, such as Marielle and Coach Jen herself, um, they were really good at defense. Like, I, I played with Marielle, so I knew how hard she worked. So it's really, like, honorable that people recognize me in the same category as her because I know how hard she worked, and, and it's pretty cool to be in this line with all of them. Um, you know, it's not... It's not a surprise to me personally, and I think to a lot of other people, because um, when you look at a box score, there's a lot of numbers in every statistical <laughs> column for you, and not just this year, but in years past. Uh, how much pride do you take in that? Because, and I'll ask you about the offensive contributions <laughs> next, but um, how much pride do you take in that? Because you've done it really now for all four years, assists, steals, blocks, rebounds. You've done a little bit of everything. Just talk about the, the yeah. pride you take in that. Uh, I, mean, I take a lot of pride in defense because, you know, I feel like defense really does win games. Mm -hmm. And once I realized, like, that I was able to work harder on defense, because my freshman year I, didn't, I don't think I thought I was very good at defense, mm -hmm. but more my sophomore year, like, I realized, like, I'm a tall person, so I have long arms. I'm able to get, like, big rebounds. Mm -hmm and steal, so I take a lot of pride in that. I enjoy um, being given the challenge of having to guard one of the best players and being able to stop them or hold them to a certain amount of points. So, uh, Offensively this year, uh, it was right around the, the, the big easy challenge down yeah. in New Orleans. Um, Amanda had had her knee injury. Um, team was struggling a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was talking with Coach Leadham. She had said she kind of pulled you aside and yeah. said, "This is, you know, this is your team now. You're <laughs> a senior. Um, how much do you take that to heart? Because obviously <laughs> it did. Because the second half of the season, uh, you were uh, an offensive force in the yeah. NE10, and you know we could read off the stats. So many games with 20 points or more, career high, and, and those types of things. Just talk about what uh, what you did to take that upon yourself? Uh, well, Coach held us after a game one time, and, you know, she was trying to get us going because we were kind of in a slump. Mm -hmm. Like, as you said, Amanda got hurt, and then Jess had gotten hurt. So she was telling us, like, you know, if you're going to play for something, you know, play for these players who wish they could be out there. And Amanda's been my best friend since I've been here. So, you know, like, I really took it to heart, like, all right, Tiff, like, you got to step up. Like, you know, do this for Amanda, do this for your team, because if she is going to be back out there, like, she needs someone to help her out. So I actually took that to heart that, you know, we can still win these games and, you know, we can get Amanda back. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like that was, like, a lot of the push behind why I stepped up. Uh, when you were a freshman, Joe was here, you yeah. know, leading the way the last couple of years. Marielle and Jewel were the players that uh, the team counted on to be those at the forefront. Yeah. And then this year, the you know, the challenge of, was put to you and to Amanda <laughs> yeah. um, to be those leaders. Um, was it scary, <laughs> the thought now that it, it's it's your team, or was it exciting because now it was your team, now a chance for you to kind of etch and make your mark? It was scary at the beginning of the year. Um, it was kind of hard for us to wrap the fact, like, you know, like this is our team. Like, there's no one else to turn to. There's no there's no Joe Leadham. There's no Jewel White. There's no Mary. Like, it's mm -hmm. us that everyone's looking at. So I think we struggled in the beginning, like, accepting that we had to be the mm -hmm. ones to step up. Like, we were the ones to make the big plays. Mm -hmm. But... You know, we had good leaders. Joe was a great leader, mm -hmm. Jewel and Marielle. So I feel like we took what they did mm -hmm. and we were able to, you know, reflect that on our team this year once we really took the reins. Um, you guys are, uh, you know, in the NE10 tournament, so still very much alive for a conference yeah. title. Um, this Sunday's game against UMass Lowell, very big. It's almost mm -hmm. like a playing game when yeah. you think about it. Um, so you guys are on the verge of getting back to the NCAA tournament. Is this run, is this year's run, a little bit more special than the other ones because of the fact that this this is your team, this is your senior yeah. year, or is does it feel like the other ones just that it's exciting just to be a part of no matter what? I mean, it's exciting no matter what, but yeah. this is a little more special. You know, it is our senior year. There's no like, okay, well, if we lose, we have next year. Like, this is it for us. Mm. So it's a little bit more special, you know, I want to play with a little more edge, I feel like. Um, Hopefully that will get us through it. <laughs> uh, you know, we talked about you, but as you said, Amanda mm -hmm. Saab is, is your best friend yeah. and, and teammate for four years. Um, she overcame a, a pretty bad ACL injury yeah. this year and has played through it. And we, she was featured in Feature Friday today. Yeah. Um, just talk about how much inspiration you've drawn from her, knowing that she's gutting it out through a lot of pain in practice and in games to play and to yeah. be a part of it. Um, I think it's really inspirational what she's doing. You know, like a lot of people see her, like, 
they see her happy on the court, but like I see what happens behind like closed doors, and like I know it was a struggle for her every day. Like, um, like it's painfully, it's like it's painful for her knee, mm. but like emotionally, like mm. it's really hard too. Like mm. she is nervous; she doesn't know what's gonna happen. You know, she's been through this before, so it was like really inspiring to see her overcome all of that, and she still plays out there, and she's slowly gotten her confidence back. And, you know, I feel like. She's do it's like it's crazy what she's doing and a lot of people don't understand that but it's really inspirational to see what she's done. Um, closed out the season with a tough loss of Merrimack. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure a lot of people on the outside look at it and say, oh, they're they're struggling going in. Um, but uh, do you feel a loss like that it helps you guys refocus as you? get ready to go into the tournament to, I guess, give you that edge in practice as you were yeah, talking about earlier? Uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely makes us, you know, we have things that we need to work on to get ready for playoffs, but, I mean, it would have been great to win mm -hmm. the game, but, you know, now we have that edge, and we've definitely put ourselves in a tough situation, so hopefully we can take the win on Sunday. And then, uh, of course, you guys play Lowell in the mm -hmm. quarterfinals on Sunday. Uh, you beat them twice this year, yeah. so I'm sure some people think, oh, this is going to be an easy one. Yeah. But uh, it uh, does, again, just like I asked you again uh, um, earlier, does by beating them twice, knowing that they're going to come at you even harder than before, does that get you guys to have to focus that yeah, much more Yeah, as well? we definitely have to focus. I mean, we know what we need to get done. We're going to you know, go over it still in practice, but I think our team is going to be really focused on this game because they have good players. You know, it's like it's hard to play always like away from your home gym, so I think everyone will have a chip on their shoulder. You know, we got to get to regionals. All right. Uh, Sunday afternoon, 3 o'clock at Lowell. Uh, <laughs> Franklin Pierce led by Defensive Player of the Year Tiffany Johnson against UMass Lowell and Player of the Year Bianca Sibbett, so it should be a good one. So, uh, Tiff, uh, uh, congratulations on the award. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you.